Airbus has unveiled a new option at the top end of the private jet market. The company says that the new ACJ220 fills what it says is a gap between purpose-built large cabin ultra-long range aircraft and the so-called bizliners, which are VIP versions of existing airliners. So essentially, the new ACJ is competing with alternatives such as the Gulfstream G700 and the Bombardier Global 7500, or at the other end of the spectrum, Boeing business jets, for example. In fact, the ACJ220 is based on an airliner too. In this case, the A220, which in airline service seats between around 100 and 150 passengers. The A220 was formerly known as the C-Series when it was designed and built by Bombardier's commercial aviation business before this was acquired by Airbus in early 2020. Airbus launched the new aircraft in a live, COVID-safe online event from its headquarters in Toulouse. We observed during the last years uh, the demand for larger cabin increasing. Uh, if you look at the size of the, the business jet, uh, the size is increasing. During the last 10 years, it's 20 to 30 percent more, more bigger. Uh, but having a perfect combination in between the range and the size, it's brand new. It's new. And the ACJ220 is, uh, is answering to, to, that, to that segment. Uh, with 5,650 nautical miles, roughly 12 hours, mm -hmm. uh, which is intercontinental range, and uh, offering a large space, 673 square meters, six areas. Uh, it's, a, it's an impressive product. On top of that, it, uh, it's uh, in bettable economics. The ACJ220 offers 785 square feet of floor space in a cabin designed around six separate living areas to accommodate around 18 passengers. The twin-engined aircraft will be able to fly up to 5,650 nautical miles, and that means non-stop trips from London to Los Angeles, Tokyo to Dubai, Moscow to Jakarta, or Beijing to Melbourne. Airbus claims that the new model creates a new aircraft category that it calls the extra-large bizjet. Now, direct comparisons with other aircraft soon get complicated, but roughly speaking, both the G700 and the Global 7500 offer longer range of at least 7,500 nautical miles, but with less real estate in their cabins. Another possible option around the same class would be Embraer's Lineage 1000, which has 1,000 nautical miles less range than the new ACJ and is only slightly smaller in terms of cabin area. The smallest of the Boeing business jets has around 100 square feet more cabin area than this new ACJ220, and also greater range at more than 6,500 nautical miles. Comlux will handle the cabin completion work for the first 15 ACJ220s at its facility in Indianapolis. The Swiss-based Business Aviation Group has ordered two of the new model for its fleet, and undisclosed customers account for another four early orders. Well, I really think it's a new aircraft on this market. It's a new business jet on a new segment. You don't need any more to choose speed and, and range versus cabin and, and wide comfort. No, with the ACJ220, you have everything in, in one aircraft, and then you can operate a long range mission with cabin comfort, and the latest technology on board will make the passenger enjoying the flight. The ACJ220 is powered by the same Pratt & Whitney Pure Power PW1500G turbofans as the A220. And Airbus says these are 25% more fuel efficient than the engines of previous generation airliners. First of all, we'll increase the max takeoff weight and increase the, the capacity of fuel with 5 ACT, um, more or less 5.5 tonne more fuel to achieve the range in the 12 hours we were speaking about. That's for the, that's for the range. We are going to certify uh, ATOPS 180 to ease the, the, the operation and to have more direct routes. Uh, we'll also uh, work on the, the comfort, and for that we'll uh, develop a lower cabin altitude, uh, roughly 6,000 feet uh, 
as an average for, for, for a 12 hours flight. And on top, with Comlex, we'll offer a uh, humidification system because humidification system in such an aircraft is very important for the comfort. That's for the range and the, and, and the, and the comfort. On top of that, the high-end technology of the platform will be completed with, with uh, high-end technology for connectivity. It's a must at the time being for all of us. We cannot fly 12 hours be, yeah. not being connected, so we'll install a KU band uh, in, on this aircraft, offering double double performance compared to the, to the competition. Airbus already has more than 200 of its ACJ corporate jets in service worldwide, as well as many more of its airliner family. The manufacturer claims that the economies of scale from its extensive maintenance and support network, combined with the reduced fuel burn and other factors, should translate into cost savings of as much as 30% compared with traditional business aircraft. Airbus won't release a price for the new ACJ220 beyond saying that it's just under that of the current ultra-long-range models. And that probably puts its base price at around the $70 million mark. <laughs>